Hey everyone, Rob from Pro Rest Blog here, www.prorestblog.blogspot.com. Today we're gonna um, we're gonna talk about the house show that I just went to. Uh, I just saw a Ring of Honor's um, January twenty fifth, two thousand fourteen, Pittsburgh house show. Uh, the show was pretty much packed. There were over a thousand people there, maybe even about twelve hundred. Um, so much different than last time when it was out in Bell Vernon. Uh, Bell Vernon's pretty much in the middle of nowhere, and um, I'm pretty sure if they had held it there tonight, they would have gotten absolutely nobody there. Uh, the roads were super bad in Pittsburgh. We had tons of snow all day, and uh, even though we've cleaned it three times uh, in my place, it's still all over. So, uh, yeah, pretty bad weather, but uh, it worked out. It worked out okay for Ring of Honor. Um, the place where they ran the show uh, isn't too bad at all. Uh, they had a really big space to work with, and uh, they packed it for the most part. My only big complaint is that they didn't have any risers or bleachers or anything, so it was just flat chairs. So if you sat further back, you couldn't see anything, which I couldn't. The show started on time, but uh, the parking was kind of a mess. There weren't many spaces available, and they didn't have any signs on where to go. So you're kind of screwed if you didn't know. The first match was um, ACH and Tedarius Thomas versus Decade of Jimmy Jacobs and BJ Whitmer. Um, a decade wore really bright pink and black hair, and Jacobs later on was walking around in super pink uh, sweatpants. Um, the crowd popped for uh, TD's uh, capoeira kicks, and uh, TD did a nice tope con hilo through the ropes. Um, BJ Whitmer tried a giant swing, and I don't know what happened, but it was absolutely awful. It was slow, there was no power to it, and uh, he ended up getting booed. I mean, it was it was embarrassing. Um, uh, Tedarius ended up hitting... Uh, Half Nelson suplex on uh, Jimmy Jacobs like uh, Kabashi used to do. And um, Jacobs speared uh, Tedarius Thomas through the ropes onto the floor. Um, TD was basically on the apron, and Jimmy Jacobs went right through the ropes and uh, nailed him good. Um, Decade ended up getting the win after they got a reverse Emerald Fusion, reverse Bulldog combo. And uh, they got that one on ACH. Uh, the crowd really liked this one. Uh, they were into it, and they loved the flying. And... Uh, you know, it was okay. It wasn't great, and I think it probably could have been a lot better, but hey, it was cool. Um, I'm a big Tedarius Thomas fan, and I like ACH as well, so it was all right. They announced that uh, Paul London would not be there due to a travel issue, I believe. Uh, lots of booze for this one, and kind of stunk because Roderick Strong was supposed to be his opponent, and he wasn't there either, so didn't really work out too well on that front. Uh, the next match was uh, Hansen versus Ray Rowe. Hansen's been on a few ROH shows, and I haven't been following Ring of Honor that much lately, but apparently Ray Rowe has as well. Um, Ray Rowe's kind of a long-time uh, IWC and Pittsburgh area wrestler. Uh, he works like a Samoa Joe type a gimmick, or maybe a Taz type of gimmick, and he's pretty good. And um, I've been thinking he was a great fit for Ring of Honor for years, so it's cool to see him get a chance. Um, we had hard hits to start this one, and both men did a double clothesline to go over the top to the floor. Rowe tried to do a tope, and his opponent missed a Yakuza kick from the floor to stop it, which uh, he missed anyway. We got some Daniel Bryan chance uh, for uh, Rowe's opponent, because he kind of did resemble him, I guess, in a way. Um, Rowe hit double running knees and a big German, and um, Hansen hit a really nice uh, spin slam. I uh, haven't seen one like it before, but it was pretty wild, and it was nice. Um, then Rowe hit a really awesome Shuji Kondo style spear double leg slam. Uh, if you ever seen Shuji Kondo do it, he basically lifted him super high and then dropped him hard. And, uh, that was like that. Then they went into a quick, uh, backdrop exchange. And, uh, I think they were ch channeling Jumbo Saruta here because there were some really nice ones. Um, Rowe, uh, then caught a spin kick and then, uh, he nailed a really great one-legged power bomb like uh, Natsuki Tayo does from uh, Stardom. And um, soon after that, uh, his opponent ended up getting the win on him. Uh, this was a really great hard-hitting match. Just two guys just beating the crap out of each other. And uh, really with lots of stiff shots. Uh, if you like heavyweight wrestling, this is a good one. Um, you never know. You, you may see this someday headlining an ROH show because it was that good. I rate this one uh, three and a half stars. We did some five-second countdowns for the ROH TV show, and we went into the Romantic tight, the romantic Touch, a.k.a. Titus versus Mike Bennett. Um, lots of fooling around with Maria and stuff beforehand. Uh, Maria told Titus he disgusted her. Maria's, Maria said women need uh, power in wrestling, and she's not afraid to get it. Um, we got another Daniel Bryan chant with loud, yes, 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 chants. Um, Bennett called the fans sheep. 
and the fans chanted for CM Punk, and uh, Mike Bennett said he was uh, better than the best. Uh, Titus did Rick Rude gyrations at Maria, and um, he did more when he had um, Bennett on the turnbuckles like uh, Magnum Tokyo used to do. He'd stand on like the middle rope and kind of do all that stuff, which was, yeah. Um, they fought outside for a bit, and uh, Bennett worked a headlock and crotched himself sitting on the buckles. Uh, Rut Titus and banged his head off the buckles. Um, Bennett then blocked a uh, um, Titus dive uh, by putting Maria in front of him. Then he hit a big super kick. Maria danced, and um, Rut Titus gave her chocolates or the romantic touch, I guess. Um, she took them, then she nailed them with them, and then uh, he ended up eating an STO and Buffalo Sleeper combo for the Mike Bennett win. Nothing too special here, and uh, Maria was really the highlight. She just looked really good. Um, nothing was wrong with it, but, uh, you know, these two just work simple. They don't really impress me, and I don't think either one of them are that great in ring. So, whatever. Um, after it, uh, Red Titus argued with the redhead announcer. I keep wanting to say Scarlet, but I keep forgetting her name. It's not Scarlet, so, you know who I mean. Uh, next up, we had the Ring of Honor TV title match with, uh, Matt Taven versus Jay Lethal versus Tommaso Ciampa. Um, again, I'm super behind in Ring of Honor, so I was surprised to see that Truth and Champa, I mean, excuse me, Truth and uh, Taven weren't even working together anymore. Um, Truth had a full on beer here with motorcycle jacket and tons of leather, and he said Taven killed their lifestyle when he lost the TV title. Truth told the Hoopla hotties to leave, which uh, got lots of booze, and Truth said Hoopla is dead, and Taven thanked Truth for getting him the TV title. Uh, he said, though, that he outgrew Truth, and uh, he told Truth to hit the bricks. Uh, Taven said his time is now, and uh, basically, I think he turned face here. Uh, it definitely appeared to be that way. They had a three-way brawl to start with an ROH chant. Uh, Lethal toped both men for a nice pop, then did it two more times. They threw each other into barricades, and Chiampa took out the mats outside. Chiampa did a running slam on Lethal into the barricades. Lethal got drop-kicked in the face on his handspring rope spot, and um, then we had near falls for Champa and Taven. Champa had Lethal on his shoulders, and uh, Taven did a great uh, Trouble in Paradise kick. Um, didn't pin him, though. Ch uh, Champa hit a sit-out reverse slam on Taven, and uh, Taven hit a frog splash on Lethal for the near fall. We got a This Is Awesome chant, and uh, Truth talked to Taven at ringside and tried to give him the book, to, the, the, um, the book of Truth book, and he tried to get him to throw it, but uh, he wouldn't. And then uh, Lethal knocked Taven off and Truth off and had a pin, but uh, the ref didn't see it at all. Um, Truth, like, uh, whacked Taven's leg. I didn't really see it, but he tried to push it and it didn't quite work. And um, the ref didn't really see. Uh, he ended up taking a Project Champa for the Champa win. Um, it was a good match with the crowd enjoying it. Truth kind of missed Taven on the finish, but it was still good and I did like it. I gave us one three stars. Lethal and Champa shook hands after, and we went to a 20-minute intermission.